Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. the beehive fuzz i know it's been a while i've been a very bad vlogger i have taken a lot of videos and i they were stored on my phone and by the time i looked at them again i went oh this is such old news and i just ditched them and kind of started over here recently so we've been very busy as a family as i'm sure everybody else has been the last time i put up a video was early october-ish i think so a lot has happened in that amount of time Everything that happened in October just seems like ancient history to me, not interesting anymore. So those videos, I had a, a video cutting out some K-pants and uh, talking about how you put the pattern together after you print it up in a PDF file. And I'm like, well, a lot of people have done that. So I ditched that video. If you're really interested in seeing that, there's other uh, patterns that I want to do that I have on PDF. I can do it very easily again. So if people are really interested, I'll go ahead and do it. But I don't know. seems like that's plenty of help out there. Plenty of help from a lot more talented people than I am. So I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. We had a blast. We flew and spent, flew down to Florida 
and spent the week with family. My parents and two of my daughters lived down there and it was just so much fun to get together. We had a very busy week. Um, we were up late every night playing games. We're, we're a big gaming family and I don't mean just like not necessarily electronically, although some of that does happen with some of the kids, but a lot of us like to play card games or cribbage or board games and we just love to get together and do that. We are raucous. We are just a very <laughs> mouthy family. And, uh, you know, maybe your family's like that too. But it just makes for a lot of fun memories. And uh, it's just good times. Good memories. Good times. So some other stuff that we did uh, during the week is every year near where my parents live is the Daytona Speedway. You know, car racing that NASCAR I almost said NASA that's not right NASCAR <laughs> I don't get into it but the Speedway every year has Christmas lights set up and it, it is quite the display we it's a drive-through you drive through this under the Speedway area I don't know how many lights they have set up million I don't know it's it's so many and it is so well worth it to uh, buy the tickets to get in. It was beautiful. Um, you'll see some footage here of that. Thursday, my one of my sons and my daughter and I, we did the turkey trot down on Daytona Beach, which was awesome. It was on the sand and I was a little worried about that, but we went down uh, Tuesday before Thanksgiving to do a test run on it just to see how it would be. And the sand is so well packed that it is enough so that you're not working extra hard, but it also is kind of cushiony. It's not like running on the pavement. So it was very comfortable and it, that day it was... Um, I think around between 55 and 60 at that time in the morning that we went. In fact, my dad was complaining that we northerners brought down the cold weather with us because it was 80 degrees when we got there. And then all of a sudden this cold front went through right after we got there. And uh, so those poor, poor Floridians in uh, around the Daytona Beach area, uh, yeah, they didn't get as hot weather as they're used to this time of year. But it, for us who are used to, you know, snow, the morning we left, it was 19 degrees, okay? And we have landed in... Um, Sanford and it was like 80 you know so if it was 55 it overnight and then like a high of 68 to 70 we think that's fabulous in November but my dad was complaining about it sorry sorry dad
these things happen. Anyway, so we ran the 5K and that was so much fun. I would definitely do it again. They call it the turkey trot. A lot of places do that on Thanksgiving and it's just a kind of a fun way. I don't usually do it in our area because one, it is very cold and two, I'm usually cooking like crazy in the morning and we had planned a later dinner because one of my daughters is a nurse and she works night shift. So we weren't eating at one o'clock. We were going to eat at like four so that she could have dinner with us before she went to work. So that was really fun. It just freed up the morning and we went and had a good time. Um, we also went to the Marine Science Museum, which was, it was small, it was small, but it was so much fun. And uh, some of the kids got to pet the um, stingrays and feed them. And it was just a good time there as well. <laughs> we went to the uh, Marine Science Museum. We went to Ponce Inlet, I think it's called. It's got the lighthouse and everything and you can climb the lighthouse. Um, my husband's back was hurting him a little bit so he opted out and I didn't want him to stand by himself so I opted out but the kids that were with us went ahead and climbed it. I think it was like seven bucks or something to get in there and we got some pictures of them way up in the lighthouse and then the picture that I'll insert here in a second uh, you can see these little dots up at the top of the lighthouse. Those are my children. <laughs> there was a lady there who was helping us take, uh, we were trying to take a selfie of just my husband and I while we were waiting for the kids. And this lady, uh, she was so friendly and so nice, but she was impressed by my husband's hat. Apparently she has a lot of family that's gone to uh, Syracuse, uh, the college there, and thought that he was from there because he was wearing the Syracuse hat. But he uh, roots for the Syracuse basketball and football so they had a long talk and he said I just didn't have the heart to tell her that I didn't go to that college but I do remember him mentioning that he went to college in Wisconsin so I'm not sure um but she was just tweet just twitter pated about this baseball cap of my husband's uh that was a lot of fun and it was just such a nice day um we just can't complain about it the of course Thursday was Thanksgiving and there was a lot of eating going on and the running and it was just nice all week. My parents have um, their own pool and it's heated still right now. They don't heat it all winter because that's super expensive, but they knew we were coming down. So they paid for the gas to have it heated for like the month of November. So that was really nice. So we went swimming like every day. It was just lovely. One of my, my youngest son is a fish and he hates to get out of the water. He, it took, he was in the water for hours when he was at the pool. So that was kind of fun. And I used to be like that when I was a kid. <laughs> I'd be in the ocean up in Maine and my parents would be like, you have to get out. Your lips are turning blue. And I'm like, five more minutes. <laughs> it was just, you know, grew up in a, in, a, in a family of fish, I guess. Okay, so after that Friday, let's see, we had Thanksgiving. The Friday was a little bit rainy-ish. We did go down to Daytona Beach. It cleared off and we went down to the beach and walked it. But it was kind of chilly. It was one of those chillier days and the water was... Yeah, so we did go in like a little bit. We didn't go swimming, swimming because we had, we wanted to go visit the shops and stuff as well. And no, that was Saturday. I'm sorry. Friday was raining. Saturday was cooler. And that's because we just stayed put Friday. We didn't do much, but hang out. And I don't think so. It's all turning into a blur now. You know how vacations are. Saturday, we were on a time crunch because we had plans that evening. So we went to the beach and we did the shopping thing and we ate out, had lunch out. Then we went back to the house and some of the kids swam, but I got a shower right away because I knew I had to pack because we were leaving Sunday morning. We were leaving the house at like 3.30 in the morning or 3. It was super early. Sorry, in the editing process here and I realized that 
and getting sidetracked with talking about our early flight. Who cares about that? I neglected to mention that our plans that night after the beach were to go see White Christmas in the town of DeLand at the Athens Theater. It was fabulous. White Christmas is like one of my very favorite Christmas movies ever. We watch it every single year. Sometimes I might watch it multiple times. Sorry, I'm just that person. But we went and saw it. It was excellent. They did depart from some of the um, music numbers that are in the movie and had some other ones in. They had some of the old familiar ones. And of course, the epic dancing was missing. They had very good dancing. Don't get me wrong. But when you don't have the original players, it's never exactly the same. But it was awesome. It really was a great um, evening. And when we walked out of the theater, they had the um, stage snow. They had it projecting off the building. So when you walked out, it looked like it was snowing, which for me, it was like, oh, wait, did I just magically get transported back to Pennsylvania? But of course, being in Florida, it was a, it was quite a magical experience walking out to that. So that was fun. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to throw that in there and, uh, this is my cat pumpkin. He's claimed my shoulder. He loves to just sleep here. So anyway, back to the video. Um, cause our flight out of Florida, it was at 6am. It was the first one out. So, which I didn't mind so much because I don't, I don't know about you. I never sleep well the night before we travel. So short night travel, get it over with. We got home. Um, I don't know, 1130-ish, because we live about an hour and a half from the air nearest airport. This is what it's like when you live in the country, people. And when we got home, we unpacked the car and um, did some pet care while we were, you know, because I have an elderly cat who apparently threw up a few times when we were gone and the, the pet sitter didn't see it when she came in to feed them. But that's okay. We... we we cleaned it up. It was no big deal. Um, so we were glad to crash and burn for the rest of the day because it was back up bright and early Monday, go back to work and it was snowing. So it was like we went from beautiful su summer, summery type weather or Florida weather. And then we get in and it's like, oh yeah, that's right. Welcome back to reality snow. Okay. So that was really fun. We had a great time and I just think making memories with family is always a good time. So um, what you heard at the beginning of this video was an excerpt from what my husband and I did on Saturday. We went to Wellsboro, PA for Dickens of a Christmas. They have it every year and we go every year. We only live about an hour away from it. So we don't have to pay for like a hotel room or a bed and breakfast. We just jump in the car and off we go. So we explored, explored, explored. They have a lot of little performances on the street. Um, every year we like to go to the play Scrooge that they put on every year and they do it several times during the weekend. So that's your tradition for my husband and I uh, to do every year now. We so enjoy it. One of the things that I always do is get a crab cake, which they get from Maryland and they are so delicious. So good. Mm, I look forward to that every year. And my husband likes pulled pork. He's not a C4 either. So he enjoyed the pulled pork. Um, one of the things I bought was this burn quilt right behind me. You can see it. I've been wanting to get a barn quilt forever. And then this one's a little more Christmassy, but it'll still look nice up on our garage if it ever stops raining. It's not snowing now. Now it's warm enough that it's just been raining, raining, raining. So we'll see if it ever dries out before spring. Um, I also bought some, not every year I get some ornaments and stuff like that. And uh, just try to um, buy off of some of the local artists and vendors one of the most favorite things that happened this year, and this has never happened before, was that I met uh, an amazing lady. Her name is Lori Duff Foster, and she is a local author. And I bought her book. Of course I bought a book. And we were able to connect um, quite a bit. We talked a lot. And um, so this has is leading up to my big surprise. This is one reason why I've not been on so much this fall is that yes i wrote a book i wrote a book it's been in the works for a while it's actually my second book the first book that's a long unhappy story uh, with the publishing process and getting scammed so we're not going to talk about that but this is my second book 
and it's the first book in a series. It's called Peripheral Book One, The White Crystal, and it will be available tomorrow, Monday, on Amazon, paperback and ebook. So I've been jumping through all the technological hoops and formatting for the hardcover or the soft cover book. I know a lot of people um, who like to hold the physical book in their hands and not be tied to their e-reader. E that would be probably more my generation and older. Um, so yeah, check it out if you want. Anyway, this Lori and I were able to talk quite a bit. She gave me some tips on some of the Pennsylvania writing groups and things that she's participated in that's helped her and just some more tips for my next book that will be coming out probably in about a year. Um, some things to think about going forward with the publishing process and the formatting process, just some of the business side of things. It's kind of boring. Um, I was surprised to see an author have a uh, table as a vendor, but it makes sense because the area is thousands and thousands and thousands of people come through Wellsboro during Dickens of a Christmas. It's a small town, but during this weekend, there's so many people that come through and Hey, you might be able to get some sales. So Look up her book, buy it. I haven't read it yet. I read a part of it just to, before I bought it. The preview that I had of it, I am excited. I'm saving it for Christmas break. So as soon as Christmas hits, I'm going to just wrap myself up in a warm quilt and cup of tea and read this book. I'm very, very excited. And this is, I don't know if I said it before, but this is um, part of a series. She's got three of them in the series so far. Plus, um, I think she's got one more book. Or is it two more books that are solo books? And I can't remember now, but definitely check her out. It is Lori Duffer, Duffy Pot. Oh boy, let me try that one again. Lori Duffy Foster. And she is a local author. And she is published, I forget who she's published through, but she is legit, lovely, lovely. She let me talk to her. She let me ask you her tons of questions and there were people lining up behind us waiting to get her book and I was like okay I have to let you go because I'm holding up your sales but she was just lovely and I was able to get a picture with her she was very gracious about it she signed my book I love that I love that so yes so um that was a very fun weekend for us today was just church in the morning and we have um kind of a more relaxed afternoon usually on Sundays. So it should be a good day. So coming up, I will be doing a video about um, my recent projects and what I have made since the last time I posted in October and what I'm planning to make for the holidays, some of which is already done. I'm not making a whole lot. I just, I'm running out of tomb to hurry, hurry, hurry. I just want things to slow down a little bit. Um, we have decorated the house partially. I've got the indoor stuff mostly done. I need some tall people to help me with the garlands in the living room. We do the greeneries around the ceiling line with some lights in them. And of course, we haven't gotten a tree yet because we get a real one. And we don't typically get it to about eh, halfway through the month because we don't want it to dry out too fast. And I want to hang up that out on the garage. Again, if it ever dries out enough that we can do that. If not... I think I'm going to hang it up over my washer for now and call it a day. So, yes, I hope everybody is doing well. And I hope that you are staying warm and dry and enjoying the process of getting ready for Christmas. It feels like already the season's very, very busy, even though it just started. So, huh, I think it's because uh, Thanksgiving was a little early this year seems like it was early so we got almost have a whole extra week in there to, to mess around with for getting ready for Christmas I don't know maybe it's just me I just feel like I'm hurrying to get things started and then I realize oh it's barely December 1st you know a few days ago all right so you guys take it easy I'll have another video up shortly for um, some projects I'm working on have a great day bye <laughs>